especially talking of mulk where it was definitely about taking a side uh, the general uh, response that i got can you briefly the, tell the audience what the mulk the movie was about uh, mulk was uh, about a good muslim family and one of them turns out to be a terrorist and how they are persecuted and how they fight back to claim reclaim their honor uh, they have a hindu bahu who is a lawyer and who fights the case for them so you know there was this intense debate in the there were six sessions court sessions in the movie and uh, so yeah it it sort of also verbally discusses uh, the the most discussed uh, subject matter today so uh, i am a hindu i was born a hindu <clears throat> and i have uh, studied in a legal muslim university so i have had the privilege of knowing both the sides so when i was in banaras uh, where i was uh, studying and growing up i was a part of the majority and when i was studying way back in the early 80s in amu i was a part of the minority so i've had both experiences and uh, of course there was an attempt to not go overboard with taking one side or the other but uh, i'm sure uh, i must have ended up taking my side but the general perception general response that i got from the audience was uh, that it was impartial it did not take a side so that is something that you like you said you'll have to attempt to do uh, but it has to be also inside of you mm. otherwise there's no much, no matter how much you try you'll end up uh, taking one side more than the other in the digital age you have the opportunity to explore many more subjects um, which are not necessarily commercially viable in the old uh, cinematic industry, <coughs> cinema industry. Uh, has that allowed you uh, to do that? Uh, and do you think that uh, the digital medium which allows you to tell many stories uh, also allows you to actually engage more directly with your audiences in some ways that reflects in your work too? I think at the moment the digital platforms are, li are a little overrated. It's if there's time before this happens, what you're saying. Mm. There's still time. Uh, what has surprisingly happened is that a film like Article 15, which according to me, you know, it was running in its sixth week, and I went to see it with the audience, and I was sitting in a corner watching the film, and it was pretty full. And uh, I was looking at my own film, and I was seeing it's so dry, it's so, <laughs> it's so grim, it's so depressing. Why are people watching it? And then I had to tell myself, maybe it's not, because they're watching it. And it's been six weeks, and it's done like 65, 70 odd crores. So that's the good news that the audience is taking up films like these, which are not the traditional uh, Bollywood recipe. They're also going for the Bollywood recipe, but they're also at the same time uh, taking up these films. And uh, as far as your question about the digital platform is concerned, n yes, I mean, there's nothing non-commercial, otherwise money would not back a film. Correct. So if it was non-commercial, Netflix or Amazon will not back it. Correct. It's commercial for them. Correct. Maybe not today, maybe four years later, so they are foreseeing something. But uh, right now, uh, the consumption of those OTTs, specifically the more uh, popular OTTs, so Netflix and Amazon, is still quite niche. So even if you, there's a movie that you believe, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the regular parlance, a commercial film is something that will do well at the box office, where people go to the theaters, watch, buy the tickets and watch the film. So suppose you believe that there is this film that may not do well at the box office, but let me make it for an OTT platform. But the bad news with that is that those people are not going to the OTT platforms. Mm. So you are not able to reach out to that audience anyway. And I think we are no less than four to five years away Before the maturation of this. from the point that you're talking about.